Hello everyone, happy to see you here. Really interesting problem today. We have a to the 8 minus a square in numerator and a to the 4th minus a square in denominator equal to 9. There are a lot of methods, how can we solve it? We have 8th power, a 4th power, so huge power. It's not like an easy equation, but I want to show you a really good trick. How can we simplify this a little bit? Firstly, we have numerator, a to the 8th minus a square. We can easily factor a square. If we factor a square from this, we will have a to the 6th power and minus 1. Okay, we just factor 1 a squared, this is good for us. And we can do the same with our denominator. We can easily factor a squared as well. So we'll have a squared minus 1 equal to equal to 9. I hope you understand this step. We just factor a squared from numerator and denominator. Okay, right now we can easily cancel. We have a product, so we can easily cancel this a squared. Okay, what do we have right now? We have a to the 6 minus 1 and we have a square minus 1 equal to equal to 9. How can we simplify this? How can we work with this? Of course, let's cross multiply this equation because we cannot simplify more in this way. We need to cross multiply. We have a to the 6 minus 1 equal to 9 times a square minus minus 1. Okay, I hope you understand this step. Just cross multiply, nothing hard. But right now it's really good to know a formula about difference of cubes. Why we need this formula? Because if a to the 6, it's really good to write as a cube square. And right here, this one is really good to write as 1 cube. But in another way, this is a good way to write, but I want to write it in another way. Why I write it in another way? Because we can write it as well as a square cube minus 1 cube. This is good to write like that, but I want to write it in another way. Because right here we don't have any formula, square, cube. And right now we have a formula, difference of cubes. I write this right part, we have 9, a square, minus 1. So as you can see, I just wanted to write the formula difference of cubes. What is this formula? If we have a x cube minus y cube, we can easily write it as x minus y times x square plus xy and plus y square. Okay, this is our formula. And we can easily apply this formula in this case. I write it at first this case, but this is not good for us. We have square cube, and right here this is good because we have difference of cubes. Let's apply this formula. We have x minus y. We have a square minus 1 times the parentheses. We will have a square squared plus a square plus 1 equal to 9 times a square minus 1. Okay, we just apply this formula. But if you look closely, we have a product on the left hand side. And on the right hand side, we have a product as well. So we can easily cancel our parentheses. And if you look closely, we have a square minus 1 and a square minus 1. It's it looks like we need, you can easily cancel it. And what do we have right now? Right here, a square squared. We can rewrite it at first, we have a square squared plus a square plus 1 equal to equal to 9. Okay? So, what are we going to do next? We can easily raise this to the square power, but we don't need it, because right now we can easily write a substitution. So, let this a square equal to, for example, t. What equation we will have? We will have t square plus t, and right here, if we bring this 9 on the left-hand side, we will have minus 8 minus 8 equal to 0. Okay, so this is our quadratic equation. And one really interesting moment, because t need to be positive. This is really a really important moment, because we have square, so we reject negative roots right here. Okay, we have quadratic equation. How can we solve it? Of course, using formula. So t first and t second equal to minus b, we'll have minus 1, plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac, so we have 1 plus 32 and all over all over 2. So as a result our roots will be the next minus 1 plus minus square root of 33 and over 2. So as you can see we have roots right here because we have a positive discriminant so it's really good for us. And what we're going to do next? Take a look closely. We re right here we need to reject negative roots and in this case we will have negative roots because with the plus sign we will have t is positive. But with the minus sign, t will be negative, because right here we will have negative numerator. 
but we need positive. So we only need with this plus sign. Let's write it. We'll have t equal to minus 1 plus square root of 33 and all over, all over 2. This is one and only t. One and only t if we're talking about real root. So we need to work with this. <coughs> we need to find our, our answer because we need to find our a. But this is our substitution a square equal to t. So we will have a square equal to this one. So a square equal to minus 1 plus square root of 33 over over 2. How can we find our solution? Of course, we need to take square root from both of the side. And if we take it, we will have a equal to plus minus square root of minus 1 plus square root of 33 and all over, all over 2. This is our one and only, not only one root, because we have two roots right here with the plus and with the minus sign. So as you can see, two real roots and it looks like we will have six complex roots. If we plug in right here with the minus sign, we will have, of course, two pairs of complex roots right here. We cancel this a square, so it looks like we cancel complex roots right here. But if we're talking about real number roots, we have these real, real roots. This is our, this is our real roots right here. Okay, this is my solution. What about you? Write your suggestion in comment, write a question in comment. How do you solve this problem? It's really interesting to read about it. And thank you for watching, subscribing. I really appreciate it. See you in the next videos. Thank you for watching.